I hang out in McHenry County. I hang out in McHenry County, a county, a county with a strong blue collar component and very conservative leanings. A place where the words small business and independent are synonymous. For the past 12 years, I have been very involved in my local chamber. I'm not here to represent the chamber today, but I am here as a small business owner and as a local member of my chamber. That said, I don't see much of a connection between the small businessman and the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. As a small businessman, I could not afford health insurance offered through the chamber. The insurance I finally did get had a high deductible and was mainly for catastrophic events. Each year the premium would increase to offset the cost. My agent would change the policy to increase the deductible. I wound up with a $5,000 deductible while still paying the same original premium, which suited the insurance companies just fine. My question to Melissa Bean is, where is the level playing field here? I have a neighbor, a small business owner, who has no health insurance because he has high cholesterol. I have another neighbor who got laid off his union job and his wife's job got shipped out of the country. He's uninsured, or they are uninsured now. I have another neighbor who got laid off from his union, I'm sorry, another neighbor whose husband lost his job. They have, they're able to use all kids uh, Illinois for their children, which is a public option. We have a public option that's useful in this state already. Uh, I have two more neighbors who have never been insured and they're small business owners. These are just my neighbors. Many others, I have a lot of neighbors. Many others in our community are living on the edge. Just go to a local chamber mixer and ask those entrepreneurs what their top concerns are. To a person, they will tell you that affordable and available health insurance is a key to their, their success and their independence. I also belong to a business networking group. A ten, uh, in the past, we would doze off during discussions of insurance. <laughs> Not now. A 10-minute presentation for on insurance options turned into a 30-minute lively discussion on insurance limitations. This from a relatively conservative group of independent businessmen and women who are very concerned about staying independent and viable in their chosen fields. The U.S. Chamber of Commerce tells us that, the small, that small business is the backbone of this country. I certainly cannot verify that, for if that were the case, the U.S. Chamber of Commerce would be working for us and not the insurance companies. We don't need a level play playing field for the insurance companies. We need a new game that allows small business to be even allowed on the same field to compete. Yes. 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 A robust public option keeps us independent and in the game. Melissa Bean, we ask you to support H.R. 3200. Yes. 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 My name is David.